man, two hours and eight minutes went by like it was five minutes. I mean, these four-hour shows. I went from three hours to four hours about a year ago because I felt like I needed more time. And now four hours doesn't seem like enough time. And then four hours locked down every day burns a lot of the time I've got to film, make, and do research and set up guests and everything else we do. Uh, there's just not enough hours in the day, uh, as they say, uh, for people that are busy fighting the New World Order. Gerald Salente coming up next hour. Coming up in about 40 minutes, a huge news blitz. And the government and the media are saying gun owners, conservatives, veterans, basically all work for al-Qaeda. We broke the DHS documents. People said they were fake, of course. And the MIAC documents said they were fake. So the news had to admit they were real. That went on for several weeks. Uh, and uh, we're telling you that Glenn Beck is involved in this operation, and I'll be exposing him. And, again, I don't get into these ego wars. I'm not going after Beck because he's a big TV host. People send me email saying that. I'm going after him because he's saying 9-11 truthers need to be arrested because he's saying Ron Paul supporters are, quote, McVeigh terrorists need to have the army used on them. I'm saying that because he came out and said he thought FEMA camps were real, but that he was going to expose them, and then I predicted exactly how he straw man debunked them. And now he comes out and says, oh, yes, American militias are going to release anthrax to the American people. Hey, Beck, uh, the White House launched the anthrax attacks of 2001. I'm going to recap that coming up. You know, you know what you're doing, and it's not funny. And you say you're this patriot fighting the New World Order. You are a Judas Go. You are a camouflaged enemy, and your camouflage isn't very good. I see right through you, pal. And so uh, more than ever, he's making himself obvious to everybody, and people are really waking up to you now. And see, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to come on air before 9-11 and two months before, really six months before I started talking about it, but two months before I said, call the White House. They're going to blow the towers up, blame it on their CIA at bin Laden. And I, and I lost two-thirds of my stations and got attacked and had people cuss at me on the street. And then on the day it happened... Uh, uh, my TV show for months before happened to re-air. We got hundreds of phone calls thinking that I was talking about it being an inside job that day. No, that was two months before. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to come out and tell you Beck's a traitor and then have it be proven right later. See, because I only care about being right and honorable and telling the truth and studying the enemy. And my hard research has paid off. Now, Richard Gage, for the next 30 minutes or so, we really appreciate him coming on. He's the founder of Architects. Uh, and engineers for 9-11 Truth. It's been out, what, a year and a half, two years. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Look at the exact numbers of engineers, architects, physicists, peer-reviewed papers, top physicists, top engineers, people worldwide, people in uh, Holland and uh, people uh, in Europe and people in the United States and Japan, members of parliament coming out, former German defense ministers, uh, people just all over the place, who are scientists waking up, looking at the samples, looking at the evidence of explosives, and getting more and more media attention. And and, and now we've had uh, a senator questioned by We Are Change. It made Fox News, uh, Luke Radowski and others, Luke's on tomorrow, saying to them, hey, should there be a new 9-11 investigation? She says yes. It becomes a national news story. Uh, the fact that Obama's covering up for all this becomes a national news story. We've had government-sponsored terror before that's declassified and admitted. The government admits they've staged terror attacks before in other countries and domestically. So why don't we look at them in this case? Then when you do look, it's unbelievable. So, But Richard Gage is going at this from a scientific perspective. And it's been getting a lot of news attention. I'm going to play a clip of that coming up. But I wanted to get Richard on to give us a progress report on architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth and where it's going and all these uh you know, peer-reviewed journals and things that are coming out and all these scientists uh, that are coming out uh, in Copenhagen and other places uh, exposing what's happening. Richard Gage, good to have you on with us. Thanks, Alex. It's just incredible to be here with you again. No, it's incredible to have you here, my friend. Tell us about the organization, the group, for those that don't know, who've been hiding under a rock, what your numbers are up to, the huge breakthroughs you're having. Well, <clears throat> we're, uh, we have almost 700 architects and engineers now demanding a new investigation of the three World Trade Center high-rise buildings uh, on 9-11, the destruction of those buildings. We, <clears throat> we are marching uh, forward. Uh, there's been a lot of activity, as you've suggested. <clears throat> most, uh, most recently, we were at the National Convention of uh, Architects, the American Institute of Architects in San Francisco, 
And we had a booth there, and we handed out a thousand DVDs of our latest DVD, the companion DVD to 9-11 Blueprint for Truth. It has the 10-minute, 30-minute, and 60-minute abridged versions of our two-hour uh, presentation where we outlay all of this evidence that we're going to be talking about today. Um, and so we gave these DVDs out to the architects. We educated them. Our booth was like two, three levels deep with architects uh, with their jaws dropped looking at the, these uh, buildings on widescreen flat monitors uh, of Building 7 going down <clears throat> symmetrically at free fall speed acceleration straight down into its own footprint. Same with the Twin Towers. They're saying, well, wait a minute, That's, that happened on 9-11? And we're going, yep, it's the third worst structural failure in modern history, and you didn't know about it? No. Well, neither did I three years ago before I started. And so they're just in shock. We got 60 of these architects to uh, sign our petition, which was uh, extraordinary. So we kind of see a, as a new mission um, to go to these uh, conventions throughout the United States. There was uh, over 15,000 architects at this uh, convention. We couldn't reach all of them. There just simply wasn't enough time, and, and there was a huge number of booths. But there's regional conventions all through the United States, and so we're now raising funds to go to uh, all of them. We have a sus 100 sustaining members now, um, and we, we need that number to grow to 200 uh, very dedicated people uh, providing us uh, uh, for as little as $10 a month. They can become sustaining members of AE 9-11 Truth. And so we, with that and our fundraising efforts to obtain the booth fees for these conventions, uh, Washington, D.C., for instance, is happening mid-July. That's the, the, the one that we're very excited about, because once we go to Washington, D.C., we're right in, of course, contact with um, government officials we hope to visit there, as well as the national AIA, where we hope to finally meet with the board of the <coughs> American Institute of Architects and its president, who did allow us, after a lot of controversy, to have the booth in San Francisco at the national convention. And while we were there, we actually met the CEO of the Virginia chapter, uh, in Richmond, Virginia, of the American Institute of Architects, and he says, where have you guys been? We've been waiting for you. Uh, this is fantastic. I knew all about this, but I didn't know about you. So he wants us to come to his regional convention in mid-November, and um, early November. And right, let me stop you there, Richard Gage, because this is what's key, what you're explaining. We don't realize we're really the majority, and I keep trying to explain this to everybody, that four years ago we had polls, where over 60% of Americans, scientific polls, believe we're being lied to about 9-11. Now we have polls of over 80%. I went to the beach because um, my daughter wanted to go there for her birthday, the little Texas beach this weekend, and I rented a golf cart and was driving around, motorized golf cart, at the Pack Port Aransas, and it was like a joke. I mean, here I am in a T-shirt and shorts. I'm driving, and I've been recognized for 10 years places, but... As I was going, every 10 cars, every five cars, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, everywhere we went to eat, we got recognized. Uh, and, and that's just a gauge. And I can go to England. I can go to Central America. I can be in Canada. Everywhere we're getting, I mean, like every 10 people I walk by are recognizing. And again, that's a gauge. Here you are feeling like you're all alone and others. And then you find out that major heads of architect societies are on the same side. Again, we just have to show ourselves, not let the chilling effect scare us into submission. I talk to so many neighbors that go, yeah, I'd, I'd like our kids to play together, but won't the government do something to me? Or I've wanted to order your videos, but won't they, you know, when I'll be on a list? Or, or yeah, and, and you know, my wife runs into these people at swim meets and things, and, and you know, middle class people, well-to-do folks, you know, folks like that. Again, you're already living in tyranny. Yes, they're watching us. Yes, they're tracking us. But the government's full of our people, too. We This is a fight. If we let the chilling effect win, they're going to win. And I love how you've just doggedly, through all the attacks, everything, just continued, and you're having success, 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 just like Stephen Jones and others, uh, uh, Professor Stephen Jones, who sent me a nice note, want to say hi to him. He's listening right now from Germany. Boy, he's got some big news coming up. So, uh, sorry to interrupt there. It's just that this is this is amazing what's happening. Go ahead. Yeah, it is incredible. And so, this particular leader of the uh, AIA chapter 
uh, is having a regional conference. They get, they're going to give us a free booth, um, which is you know costs thousands of dollars, two thousand at least. There, um, we pay.